Have you seen these? These are the new DIY mixing powders. There's all kinds of different colors, and of course they have super fun names. Let's see if we can use these powders, some DIY paint, and come up with something super cool for this. We're gonna get started with my wonderful Klingon S50 mermaid tail, and of course, Mel's Magic Misting Bottle. DIY paint is extremely highly pigmented. It's pretty awesome. So we're just gonna put one coat on here. That's gonna be enough for what we're going for. I built this table a few months back. I didn't do much to it. Today I decided to throw some IOD molds on there just to give those legs a little bit more. So bring your A game. This is my first time using these new pigments, these making powders that Debbie came out with. We're gonna jump in and use Van Gogh, New Year's Eve, Elixir, and Date Night. First thing, I'm gonna fill some little cups with some water and take a small artist brush. So now we're just gonna make kind of like a watercolor and see what we can do to this piece. And all these pigments are so vibrant so it's really cool you just get the tiniest little bit and you get a really really bright cool color I up this headboard quite a long time ago normally I make benches out of my headboards this one I decided to make into a table it's right about standing height or you could use it with bar stools or you could throw in your entryway Anything you wanted to do, and it rolls. Always a bonus. Three, four. We've dipped into our Van Gogh. If you're familiar with DIY colors, it's kind of like Queen Bee. That's what it reminds me of. We're gonna go back over this, really, really highlighting all the natural moldings that are on this piece. The whole reason I bought this headboard in the first place. this one this one is called elixir it is phenomenal definitely my favorite so we're just gonna keep placing this beautiful elixir kind of shading it in see if we can highlight make those moldings nap and pop and i'm gonna spray the holy heck out of it using my misting bottle pretty much gonna make puddles everywhere and we have a guest appearance the guy in the background that is my air conditioner repair guy he had wonderful news for me just kidding 10 grand i need a new air conditioner anybody have 10 grand around anyways i had to stop and that is why that got finished without it being filmed. Sorry about that. This part was really fun. Adding this dark elixir into that deep groove there, giving it a spray and watching it run down in between the molds is awesome. It was very um satisfying. In areas where I had a pretty significant puddle, I went ahead and took some paper towels and just dabbed it back. 
paper towels I'm using are not folded right. They're not folded correctly and they do have texture. So yeah, I'm gonna get a little texture in my finish and I'm okay with that. Like I said before, when I built this, I didn't paint it. I had no idea what I was gonna do with it. So for this finish, I decided we need a little bit more. So I threw some IOD molds on there. If you're interested in any of those, you can hit up on my website. You're wondering how to make the molds or where or what or how or whatever i have some other videos where i did show you guys exactly how to make them I'll throw a couple links in the comments section meanwhile let's go ahead and just kind of stain these legs so this is fun put the elixir in the cracks use your little spray bottle and soak it and it just goes down and gives it like another layer another dimension We're gonna pull out our shinies the shiny ones so we've got silver lining and new year's eve these have like little metallic little little glitteries in them let's go ahead and sprinkle them around give them a good spray and move that around i actually did pick up this table and like tilt it so i could get stuff to run in different directions i didn't film that but i did it just so you know <laughs> Remember that thing when we were kids? It was this shape, it was oval, and it had like sands in it, and you can move it around. And the sand would like slide from one side to the other and create like really cool, kind of looks like a paint pour now. We weren't paint pouring back then, but you know what I mean. What the heck was that thing called? Tell me in the comments below if you remember, because that's what this reminds me of. Just gonna finish this up with the same technique, using all of my stuff soaking it down real good making sure the water moves it covering the complete surface on every surface it's time to let it dry hard to see what it looks like because it's still you know half wet half dry let's let that dry overnight and then we're gonna figure out how we're gonna seal it i'm a little bit nervous about it So here we are in the morning and I have to admit, I am not unhappy about this. It actually looks pretty sweet. Yay. It's time to seal this guy up. All right. So my first thoughts were, mm, it's all going to run together. How am I going to do this? Well, if it wasn't a hundred <laughs> and more degrees some days, and if I had an air conditioner, I would um, spray it, definitely. But you know, top coats do weird things when the temperatures get to be that high and I didn't want to risk it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a brush in a haphazard, crazy fashion and see what happens. As you can see, as I'm going, I am smearing some of the colors, mostly the metallics. Those are the ones that seem to be doing a weird thing. So we're going to go against all the rules and do a dab, dab, dab motion with the top coat mm, never done that before but you know i think that's the only way that we are going to avoid completely making mud and it's working so you say to yourself melanie why didn't you just use a top coat and make a glaze out of this stuff in the first place well i could have done that but i really really wanted this runny like look so top coat and glaze i mean yeah you can do that but i wanted to add all this water like pulling and puddling and wasn't real sure i could do that if i used top coat with my glaze or with my pigments instead of water so you know where there's a will there's a way we'll figure this out And 
and holy smokes we did it guys check it out it looks pretty tight if you like a neat uniform symmetrical look mm, this is definitely not for you if you want to be artistic and have fun these making powders are great interested in getting yourself some of these making powders you can find them on my website as soon as they're released you guys are awesome don't forget only you can make it happen i'll see you in the next video okay Thank you.